What is going on guys? Welcome on in. We're going to bring you another Carrier Oil 101 series video. But first, my name is Dan C. Bearded. My subscribers, they call me the trusted teacher for all things beard related. And today, I'm going to cover the highly requested hemp seed oil video. I'm going to tell you where it comes from, the history behind it, the benefits for your beard and skin underneath your beard, and importantly, if I recommend it to you guys, but also include some companies that are using this. And I want to make this clear, hemp seed oil is totally different than CBD oil, and I'll cover CBD oil on a future video probably in the near future actually but they are two totally different things and make sure you watch the whole video I have some really important points and some misconceptions to clear up specifically with hemp seed oil Where does the ingredient hemp seed oil come from that is in some of your beard products? Well, it is likely from the country of Canada. All the way up to estimates of 90% of the hemp seed oil in the United States is from our neighbors to the north, Canada. We'll get into the reasons why on the history portion because that is really important for this topic and for hemp seed oil. But one important thing to know is hemp seed oil does come from the cannabis plant. When we look at where, it is cannabis but it is a totally different strain than the cannabis plant that people use recreationally to smoke, a totally different thing. This is not a plant that you could smoke to have THC or to get high from it. It is completely separate. Even though when you see hemp lotion and all these other things, they usually advertise with the green marijuana leaf, they are two totally different plants and strains. So I wanna make sure that's clear because that misconception is gonna be very important as we talk about everything else about this ingredient. History. As a history teacher, I love diving deep into this segment for any ingredient or really any topic period. But the history behind hemp seed oil is loaded and interesting. First off, over 8,000 years ago, hemp seed oil was first used by the ancient Chinese. And that is important because you can find tons and tons of stuff dating back to probably 10,000 years ago of people using hemp for clothing, for paper, for all sorts of different things. But the actual seeds being cold pressed and creating oil was done by the ancient Chinese in about 6000 BCE. Now they used it in three ways. They used it for their skin, their hair, but they also ingested it. They thought it would improve their immune system. They thought it made them healthier. All those things that may or may not be legit. That's for a different channel, different time. But this is about the hair and the skin and the Chinese were the first to use it. Now this goes all the way through Europe. This goes through the history all the way back then to more recent history in the US. In 1937, there was a really misinformed tax law that pretty much halted all hemp production in the United States, whether it was for the drug, whether it was for hemp seed oil, whether it was from hemp oil, or anything to do with that plant, whether it had THC or not. And again, guys, THC is the psychoactive ingredient that gets people high when they smoke it, when they make... Uh, any kind of drug product out of it, right? Now they have edibles, they have everything you can imagine. Well, this is a totally different strain, but the tax law still impacted it. So still to this day, hemp seed production in the United States has greatly been hurt compared to countries like Canada or France or anywhere else in the world that is producing this ingredient. And we'll see in a second if it is a great ingredient or not, and whether the US should look at their misconceptions with that law, the impact of that law, and even the way that we market and advertise any product that has to do with hemp. I think this is a loaded thing, but it's gonna be really important here. So the history, loaded one, but we can kind of make sense of this ingredient and why it's used or why it's not used in some of our favorite companies. Benefits. We see companies using this ingredient in our beard oils and beard products. So what are the benefits? Refresh, revive, and strengthen. Flat out, this is an absolutely amazing ingredient. One of the best I've ever used and researched, and I am loving it more and more as I use more and as I look more into it. It is referred to as a freak of nature. It is the most unsaturated fat oil in the plant kingdom. 
It is called the most perfectly balanced oil there is on planet Earth. It is thin, it absorbs quickly, and on the comedogenic scale, go check out that video if you haven't, it comes in at a zero. Meaning, no matter what your skin type is, oily, dry, no matter what your hair type is, straight, curly, coarse, it will not clog your pores or do any damage to your hair. It is a heavily nourishing oil that is going to both help your hair and your skin. It is full of vitamins, minerals, fatty acids, antioxidants, everything we want. And it is the second most packed uh, protein rich oil on planet earth. That is amazing. With the proteins that we see in there and the fatty acids, it is gonna promote healthy hair growth and help you grow your hair faster and stronger by stimulating the blood flow at the base of your hairs. There is truly no downfall to this ingredient and is something that I would love to see in more companies providing us with hemp seed oil. It is really known as one of those just wonders of the plant world and it does so many great things for our skin and for our hair. Hemp seed oil, I could go on for a much longer time and bore you guys about the benefits. Just know that it is absolutely amazing and is a one of a kind oil, truly one of a kind. Recommend. Do I recommend this ingredient when you're checking the labels on your beard products? After my rant on the benefits portion of this, of course I recommend this. It is very unfortunate that a misconception is the reason that we do not have this readily available in the United States and a lot of the companies that we love that could really benefit from this ingredient are not using it. I really, really hope to address misconceptions on this channel and change opinions with facts, science, and just good old common sense and I think this video is a perfect example of that. There are terrible misconceptions that have been put on by the government, but also by advertisers and also just by people that are not looking into what they're talking about and they hear the name hemp and they just assume that it is something negative, that's something that's gonna get you high. That is just not the case. This is great for our beard hair and even better for the skin underneath it and is something that I really hope companies are paying attention to and play with in their ingredients to make this more accessible to help out those beards that we see and that we love. So yes, I strongly recommend it. Three companies that I love that use this, we have Luxurious Bastard, Husky, and Royal Beardsman. I cannot find a bunch more that I actually use on a regular basis that have hemp seed oil, and I was actually disappointed to see that. A lot of these other ones that we cover, I could make a list forever, right? Argan, Jojoba, Sweet Almond, Fractionated Coconut Oil. Every company checks those box off. Check, 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 check. When it gets down to hemp seed oil, very few. Those are really the only three. If you know another company that you love that uses hemp seed oil, boom, please drop it in a comment down below. Question to leave you guys with, what did you learn in this video? I know there's something about hemp seed oil that you are not aware of. I don't care if you're a company, I don't care if you're a consumer, I don't care if you're a scientist. There's likely something in here, unless it's your field of study, that you did not know before watching this video. I know I sure did when I dove into the research, when I started talking to experts in the field. I learned a lot and it really enlightened me and I love learning. So leave me a comment down below about what you learned and then if you have any questions or even requests for future videos, videos for the Carrier Oils 101 series. I made this one because it had the most votes on the previous video, so keep it coming you guys. I love these and you know it's not going to go anywhere. In the future it's going to evolve into Essential Oils 101 and then it's going to evolve into uh, Co-Wash and Wash Ingredients 101. This is limitless and I'm so excited to be the person to have the chance to bring this information to you guys. So thank you guys as always for the support. If you liked the video, make sure you check that thumbs up at the bottom. Also, just check to verify that you're subscribed or consider hitting it. If you're not, my name is Dan C. Bearded. Stay bearded and stay positive.